so we're not moving to Alaska. That's our opener. Okay. We're obviously not in Alaska. We're obviously not in Alaska. And we are really, really sad that we did not move to Alaska. We have been putting off making a video about why we didn't end up in Alaska. Um, I don't even know if now we're ready to do it. I don't even know how to talk about it. I don't know how to talk about it either. People keep asking. It's like, I feel like we need to tell people that right. what happened. Um, so we put it out there that we were going. We announced it. Which we counted I, down. We counted down, which I've never done. And I've never been that sort of person. But the only reason we did that was because what, when we went to visit Alaska, um, everything seemed to fall into place. Yeah, at the end of December, early January, everything like came together. Like we met someone there, we made a friend. Like I've never made a friend on vacation. I mean, originally I was going to drive truck for a year. Yes. And save money and. And I was going to go with you, and I was going to write on the road. Right. And we were going to, you were going to make enough money, for us to buy land around here, and then everything was so perfect in Alaska. Like the land was cheap, and it was beautiful where we were, and we fell in love with it. And then I did the math and all the stuff I own, all my music gear. I could sell all my music gear and have plenty of money to do what we needed to do. Plenty of money. But I could not find anybody to buy any music gear. So I don't know what that means. Does that mean I'm still supposed <laughs> to be a musician and not live in Alaska? I don't know. So it fell apart because we didn't have the money um, to go. And I think it fell apart with the logistics of going through Canada. Canada was a big block. Canada was a really big block. And I think our for me family was a big block like it's family a was a big block for you giant move for me i didn't want to be away from my parents i didn't want you to be away from your kids big it's huge like it's far and it's not like super easy to get yeah. to so we had kiva going when we talked to the people at kiva they were like oh yeah it's like 90 percent sure that you'll get funded 90 percent sure sounds pretty i mean that was just a whim and i feel like it felt like together like we had so many so much support from like our friends and family and then so many strangers were supporting us and then it just kind of like didn't work out and it was like it would have been bonus money after he sold all his music gear so right. it wasn't like it wasn't like we didn't needed it we needed it like we either needed the music gear to sell or we needed the kiva to work out right. and then neither worked out if we had one or the other things would have been fine and we, together it would have been perfect it would have been amazing we'd have had this great buffer but it didn't work out. So it was like a lot of things really worked out and we're like, yeah, this is like where you're headed. This is what you should do. This is where you're going. And then it was like, mm, no. And I think the hardest part was we were like ready to go mentally. Yeah. Like we were already kind of there and then it just didn't work out. And I think for me, like a week before we were supposed to leave, I realized it wasn't going to work out. Like the Kiva wasn't going to work out. Chris was like, I refused to give up. He refused to give up. And I think I was, I saw the end and it was one of the most depressing moments of my life. Sounds overly dramatic, but it was super sad. And I feel like we're still really sad. Would you say that we're just... I feel like I'm sad. Yeah, I feel like... I'm, it's like a loss. I've made peace with it, but I don't know Yeah, that I'm... I've accepted it, I guess. It's been accepted. It wasn't... There's a reason. There are so many guns. Why... Can't you go to the woods without being shot? Seriously. I mean, I feel like the woods used to be super fun and relaxing. And granted, we did come here recently and shoot. But I feel like we didn't shoot near anyone else. Like, these people didn't even venture yeah. up here anywho anyway so alaska didn't work out now we have decided that we would like to go back this summer maybe drive up try driving through canada to see how it goes should we wait until they get it all out of their system pew, 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 pew. so we're just gonna go even though there's all this shooting happening and hopefully you'll just be able to hear us because we have mics now We'll still try to go to Alaska this summer. We'd like to try to get some land here and try to have a place to do some sort of homesteading here because having an HOA doesn't really make it all that possible. Yeah, so we can prep. We can prep, like practice um, before we get to Alaska. I'm going to build also, my gasifier. You're going to build your gasifier. He's going to build some tiny homes, hopefully. 
that's something you're super excited about right yeah. now. Um, we have some trailer bet what trailers? Yeah, we have trailers that we can convert. That we can convert. I'm gonna focus more in writing, which I haven't really done because last year we were so busy with tomatoes, which is a whole nother story. Um, yeah, so we're not giving up. We had to take a break. We had to take a minute and figure out what we're doing. Um, heal a little because there's a lot of sadness there. It's hard when your dream gets put on pause and you're so convinced that it's gonna happen. So, but there's some reason why it didn't work out. We were not prepared reason. enough, I don't think. So we, by gosh and by golly, we're going to try though, for sure. He's going to try too. He's going to try too. I bet he didn't hit anything though. I don't think he hit anything. <laughs>